Hello, it is Friday afternoon. I don't normally vlog on Fridays, which is why I have not picked up the camera, but I'm doing exciting things. <laughs> exciting to me, so I figured they're in the vlogs. So if you remember a week ago, I don't even think I've edited this footage yet, but I think like a week ago, I made a really cute bag with like humpback whale patterns. And it was from a pattern that I used in like grade 12. So I've had it for a very long time. This is it here. Uh, the problem is being an old pattern, it's rough. <laughs> it's real rough. And so I figured because I wanna make a bunch of these bags cause I really like them and they're so cute and I should sell them, but I'll just give them to myself, I'm sure. Um, <laughs> I figured I would transfer it to this poster board that I have, which I got forever ago to plan stories on and then just never used it. So that's what we're gonna do. I'm contemplating making this bag a little bit taller. Honestly, I love it as is, but I feel like it could be a little bit taller. Also, I'm really hoping the strap fits. Oh, that's gonna be close, we'll have to see. But yeah, I'm gonna fix the lines that are not so straight anymore <laughs> and then just have something a little bit more solid to deal with. I also think I will do a separate pocket pattern because I think I just guessed, honestly, when I was <laughs> doing it because it's, it's so rough, there's holes in it. Um, ideally, yeah, like pattern paper would be great, but I think because my plan is to use it regularly, uh, the, the sturdier fabric the sturdier, it's not fabric, try it again, poster board is, is a lot better. And then the intention today, so it is 4.25, I'm home by myself until like eight because everybody's working late today. I, I worked early this morning. I think my intention after this is to cut a bunch of fabric and then maybe sew tomorrow. Honestly guys, like <laughs> after this week, I only worked three days. And I suddenly realized that maybe the reason I was so tired and so exhausted all the time was because I was working like six days a week for multiple weeks in a row. And if it wasn't six, it was five. And I was just burning out and dying. But, you know, I only worked three days this week. I had a chill day yesterday playing Frisbee golf. Apparently I'm more out of shape than I thought because of my arm and a bit of my back hurt today from playing Frisbee golf, which is so embarrassing. Um, so yeah, but I went for a 2K walk today after work and I lifted weights for 25 minutes, which isn't huge, but it's huge for me. So, you know, we're hopefully heading in the right direction and I'm not exhausted. I'm sweating to death, but I'm not exhausted. Okay, so um, I'm gonna stop rambling. I'm gonna start doing. Describe this magic in the air, the world has come alive. And when I see you, you make my pulse rise. I never knew that I could be so hypnotized. There's something in your touch, baby. The way your body's moving me, and I don't know where this soul will go. Oh, no. My hair is special. <laughs> Anytime I wear headphones, it always makes this weird thing. Anyways, I have two bags cut, save the fleece, which goes in between to give it a little bit more stability. And I'm taking a break ah, <laughs> for dinner. Look at my bowl, it's so cute. I've just got some chicken and pasta in there. If you're wondering where I'm at on my Marvel saga, it is Captain America Winter Soldier. <laughs> and um, it is currently six. So I'm gonna cut at least one more bag. I haven't decided which fabric I wanna do. I'm leaning towards this uh, Legend of Zelda stuff down here. Um, so I'm gonna do one more bag, although this, this is great too. <laughs> I'm gonna do one more bag. I think we'll play it by ear and then I'll cut the fleece for whatever I've cut and then we'll call it a night because there's like a mess over here. There's fabric underneath and there's a mess there as well. <laughs> <laughs> so I don't want to leave that there forever. So yeah, I'm just going to eat quickly, continue watching this, and um, see how much further we can get. Out of nowhere, the sun is 
something in your touch, baby The way that your body's moving me And I don't know where this all will go Oh, no Alrighty, so downstairs is put back together and you know what honestly while we're here before I forget I got two things in the mail one I got this super adorable lanyard oh there we go it's focusing it's just roses and it's super cute and I'm like I could have probably made that but it's fine I got it for when I'm in blind channel because if I wear dresses the dresses don't have pockets I could probably sew pockets into them but lanyard will work perfectly for my keys and then I got the most responsible purchase one could make it's one of those things that I go really I'm an adult <laughs> like honestly at one point I was a manager at a Canadian tire which was quite busy and then I make purchases like this bucket hat and I wonder you know who ever let me be in charge of anything <laughs> anyways it's so adorable I can't I can't even but the next step <laughs> is this this is a disaster so I've got all my bags cut there. I have clothes there. I have all the fabric I need to put away and then we just we got the situation. So I'm gonna deal with this and I will see you in the morning. Good morning and uh, welcome back. It is like 11 o'clock on Saturday. I did sleep in which was great. Also my arms from working out yesterday a little bit sad about things. Actually mostly like the chest part so you know I'm sure it'll get worse as the day goes on. <laughs> <laughs> but that is totally fine. I woke up, I don't know, I woke up at like nine something and I just wasn't feeling it. So I thought I'd set my alarm for 10, but I didn't. So I woke up at like 10, 20 because <laughs> guess not. So I got a breakfast drink here, even though, yeah, it's like pretty much noon, but this has minerals and vitamins and all that good stuff in it. So I like to try to have one of those every day because I don't eat the best because I have the weird texture thing. Anyways. I just reached out to my friend to see what he was up to, to see if maybe he wants to go for a walk or something, but in the interim, I think I'm just gonna continue to wake up. I'm mostly there, have my breakfast drink, get dressed probably. It's a beautiful day outside. It's like 16 degrees and it's supposed to get to like 22, which is amazing, but it also means my room is going to get terribly hot. I have this fan going, this fan going, and then in the hallway because my mom's room does not get hot at all. There's this fan that is blowing the air from the window this way as well. The only thing that sucks is it's like so loud. But yeah, because their room does not face the sun, it never gets hot in there. But anyway, we'll survive. We always do. Also, oh my God, exciting news. I finally got my mom and her boyfriend to register for their vaccine. And my mom has booked her appointment. I have to help her boyfriend book his because they're, they're tech terrible. But. It's so exciting because they've been like, meh, meh, meh. like they could have registered like a month ago. So my mom's getting hers the day after mine and then we'll see about her boyfriend. But yeah, very exciting stuff happened yesterday. But I'm gonna go now, stop rambling, have a breakfast drink and put on some clothes. <laughs> I like hit the record button and then there was immediately a siren. Okay, so it is so much later now. Ugh. I reached out to my friend and he's like, oh, I haven't decided what I want to do today yet. I was like, well, do you want to go play Frisbee golf? Uh, but I think it might be really busy because it's a beautiful day and it's a Saturday. Um, but we went and it wasn't busy at all. And I brought my camera, but I brought a bag for the first time. Normally I just like hold everything in my hands and just throw them about his vehicle. Um, but I brought a bag today. And so my GoPro was at the bottom and I totally forgot to get it when I got out. But it went, I think it went worse than last time. <laughs> <laughs> the like first and third hole were just like trash for both of us and then there were just some other holes that were just miserable some some parts were getting better and other parts were getting worse but it's fine and then we had lunch and then we had milkshakes <laughs> and just like drove around for a bit oh we saw like a humpback whale too when we were eating lunch we went to the water and there was a whale and he was a very lazy whale but we did get the the tail flip so that was nice but yeah so that's what we did it's now 10 after 3 I've been home for a bit just like chilling and doing not much but I think now I don't feel like sewing but I do have an idea for a different bag that I want to work on embroider um because I'm kind of over the cat one for now it's the the flowers are annoying me <laughs> and I think just the color too is annoying me the idea that I have is just going to be just all done in, in black so it'll go quickly or 
it'll go more quickly. <laughs> so I think I'm gonna figure out the exact design, grab a bag down because they're like up there. I should probably make my bed too because uh, we don't wanna, it, we, it was bad yesterday. <laughs> and then we'll see. I was thinking about streaming today, but I don't really think I feel like it anymore, but maybe tomorrow. And um, yeah, we'll just see how the day goes. I think it's just gonna be a chill day, which has been nice. I've been having a lot of chill days lately and um, evidently they were something I needed. <laughs> And I haven't felt guilty about it, which I think is like the best part of it. Also, if I'm talking really loud, it's because I feel like I am talking really loud because of the fan. Oh, you can't see it. The fan. <laughs> okay, that's where we're at. And this is my vision. Whale, hello there. <laughs> it's marine life, which is great. And it's a pun, which makes it even better. Oh, I got the mic here again. Um, so I've got that drawn, so now I'm going to start working on it. I'm currently watching... Captain America Civil War because I skipped Guardians of the Galaxy because I was on an Avengers tear and so I skipped those because it kept going on the Avengers tear and then I skipped Ant-Man because I literally watched that like three days ago. So we are on Civil War and then we'll see where we go from here. Maybe we'll go back to Guardians of the Galaxy but I don't know. I don't know. We'll see but I'm glad that I finally have this drawn and like I said it's just going to be all in um, black thread so it should go by pretty quickly hopefully. I'm excited. Oh, my hair's so bad. <laughs> okay, so a lot has happened in the last little while. I finished my embroidery project, and then I think I was gonna pick up the camera, and then I was like, I should pin these bags together um, for sewing purposes. And I was like, oh, I have to iron them before I can pin them, just to make sure that they're good. And then that went to, well, I might as well iron all of it. So then I was doing a heck of a lot of ironing, which is, is boring. Like how many times can I iron on this channel? And then I was pinning everything and my phone rang and it was my friend um, from Ontario, my really good friend. I mean, we haven't met in person, but whatever. We've been friends for over a decade. And <laughs> there are only two, reason why she, two reasons why she calls me that late. It's one, she's driving home from her shift because she is a nurse or two, she is really drunk and her husband is at work. It was number two today. So it was nice. We chatted for a while and then she's like, I better go because I'm going to fall asleep because I am so drunk. I'm going to fall asleep. Um, wow. That did not make things better. Oh, that made the ow, ow, ow. Um, and so yeah, we chatted for a while, which is nice because it's been quite a while. We had plans to meet up for our 10 year friend anniversary, and then I don't know there's just this little thing that happened and I can't remember I mean, COVID it ruined everything so uh, you know it is what it is we'll meet when it's meant to be but I'll show you what I've been working on so I finished this guy he's pretty cute he's got he's like a little bit weird there but it's okay and he says whale hello there <laughs> I hate it and I love it and then down here I have everything uh, pinned together so I have the fleece layers with the outer layers because that's how you know you get a little bit of weight to the bag and then everything else is ironed so I've got the three straps I've got the liners the pockets somewhere are ironed as well I did realize though as I was pinning the liners together that I'm about to make the same mistake that I made with the last liner where I sewed it together and then I forgot that I had to sew the pocket on so should probably fix that but that's I think the plan for tomorrow I think I'm going to um work on that I am so like rumbly here I just had a can of coke and I think that's why my, my throat is just going but <laughs> the plan for tomorrow I think is gonna be working that I kind of want to get out and go for a walk or something because I think it's supposed to be nice tomorrow again <sighs> my arms are a little bit sore still um, maybe, maybe, maybe do some like iron pumping and then I got like some invoicing and some other like computer work that I have to do, but we'll see how it goes. Maybe I'll stream. My hair is so greasy because I'm so sweaty. I just showered yesterday. Um, but yeah, I'm going to go for now. I'm climbing to bed here shortly. Hopefully I can get to sleep. It is, is that, is it, it is 29 degrees in my room. <sighs> it's the worst. Anyways, <laughs> I'll see you in the morning. <laughs> Good morning. Today does not feel like a great day off the get-go. That's get a bit, a bit wrong, wrong way. Um, it was so hot in my room last night. Like it was 29 degrees when I was trying to get to sleep. It got down to 28 and a half. So I mean, like that's great. It was 26 or 27 when I woke up. I opened my door and it's just under 26 now. But 
it was so congested, and I think it's because of the heat, and then, like, blowing my nose, and then I, like, you know, uh, puked a few times. <laughs> like, I think it's just so much phlegm, probably, and just, like, meh, not great. I mean, the nice thing is there's nothing in my stomach, <laughs> so we could take that as a win. Anyways, it is currently, oh wow, it's 11.20. I woke up at like 10-ish, and then I watched a video in bed, and then I've just been like trying to not throw up, so that's where that time went. And the plans for today were to sew, but honestly, like I feel so trashy right now that we will see how it goes as the day goes on. I think I want some food. So I mean, that's good that I at least want to eat, even though I feel this bad. So I'm probably gonna get dressed, and then wander down to the kitchen and see what might be available down there, and then uh, go from there, because... I do not feel great. I mean, like, I don't feel sick. I'm just, everything's congested through here and I have a really sore throat. So, that's great. Alrighty, so it has been a long time. <laughs> um, my stomach's just been being a little drama queen going like, oh, I puked and there was nothing in me and now I hurt. And it's just really inconvenient and rude. Honestly, I've done nothing. <laughs> I've been laying in my bed. I, I ate. A, a little lunch and I've been laying in my bed ever since just watching videos and laying there and doing nothing and it's been just not how I expect my day to go to be honest. I have this lovely pile of bags that ideally I want to sew today but oh, I don't know I'm not really feeling it they're so cute though like look at that look at that Look at her skunks. But we'll see, the day is still like not old. <laughs> it's not young, but it's not old. It's like four in the afternoon. So there's that. I just, ugh. Every time I move, my stomach moves and it goes, do not like. And then I go, do not like. So not ideal, really. I'm just trying to think of like something I could eat. Honestly, probably like some premium salted top crackers. Like that sounds good. I don't think we have any here though. So like maybe go to the store, but like. I'm, nothing is respiratory, but just the fact that I'm feeling gross, I'm like, I shouldn't go to the store. So, yeah, that's where we're at. And then later today I have to, um, invoice, of course, because it is Sunday. And I'm also just looking at these bags, <laughs> and instead of flipping them all up, I could have just showed the top here, because those are the straps. So, uh, I'm just thinking, which, which, which is a scary thought, but <laughs> I'm thinking that... Normally when I sew things and like I'm sewing the insides of them, I use just like I'll just batch sew everything and just do the same colors. But because for the outer parts of the bag, you sew like a fold line here and a fold line here. Um, so I'd want that to match or be like a nice contrasty color. I'm trying to say if I want to do white or black for this one, to be honest. Um, definitely going to do black on here definitely gonna do blue on there but because I have to do that I can't I think it's probably gonna make more sense to just sew um, one bag at a time I don't know I don't know I'm just honestly so unmotivated to do anything and I just I don't feel great so I'm gonna continue chilling and then we'll just see what happens today I made a bag <laughs> look at it it's so cute this fabric when I saw it I knew I just had to get it and I had no idea what I was gonna make with it because it's like it's too big for scrunchies but a bag is perfect and then it has a nice pocket on the inside <laughs> and I remember to sew the pocket on before I sewed the lining together this time so that's a win I think we need a slightly better solution for uh, <laughs> bags here. I mean, this is my one that I use. Not what I'm working on still. There's that other bag. <laughs> and this one, I don't even know, man. I, I need a better storage solution, but I love that bag. It is so cute. I am also up to this stage, which is attaching the handles on this one. Um, but I'm gonna stop for the night because it is 20 after 10 and I do work tomorrow, but with the, uh, the, the temperature in here being 27, who knows when I'm gonna get to sleep. Um, I was just gonna leave everything set up other than, you know, find my bed. But then I remembered that Pam and I are supposed to stream Unravel 2 tomorrow. It's been several weeks. Oh no, there's dust everywhere. And, um, so we're supposed to stream that tomorrow. So I need to have a desk space where I can use my laptop. I mean, my desktop. So that's the thing. Also, 
we have upgraded one fan, two fan. The clothes I talked about the other day that need to go to donation. And yes, we still have Christmas garland up. But anyways, so I need to actually clean up, clean up, which makes me sad because that'll mean less of a chance of me working on that in the near future. But then again, I am off on Tuesday and my friend is going back out to work tomorrow. So I will have free time. Also, I don't think I mentioned it earlier, um, but I got this bag today and it is lobster clips. Can we focus on that? Eh, lobster clips. Um, so I can make lanyards like that one. So that's very exciting. That's something I will try to do maybe this week or next week. Just see how they look because especially like the cute whale patterns and stuff, I, I think I can make some really awesome ones. But for now, I'm going to take some time to clean up find my bed and then figure things out. Oh, also, if you're keeping up with my, what Marvel movies have I watched? Um, I watched Black Panther yesterday. I skipped Doctor Strange because I just watched it. And then I watched Thor Ragnarok and I'm now on Ant-Man and the Wasp. I still have not gone, I watched part of Guardians of the Galaxy the other day. I still haven't gone back to those, so we'll see if we do, but we're almost at like the Infinity Wars. So that, that's, it's coming to an end real quick here. Alrighty, so um, it's like 12.30. <laughs> I was watching Ant-Man and the Wasp, like I mentioned, and then I was chatting with my friend on Instagram because I was showing her like the bag I was making. I was, and then she was asking about scrunchies and then we were talking about that. And then because she was asking, she was saying that she keeps checking my Etsy store for things to go up. I do have an Etsy store, but I have not updated it for a while because the listings are like four months long and because I'm going to be away in Blind Channel, uh, it's it's not worth it for me. It'd be one thing if like I'd had a lot of sales and I could like get my mom to pack things up or something, but it's just wouldn't be fair to her. And also I haven't had a single sale on my Etsy store, so it's fine. But she was saying she keeps waiting for my bags to pop up on there. And so I was like, well, if there's anything you're interested in, like, let me know and I can at least give you a bag price of what I think it's going to be because pricing things is so hard. Like, I was looking on Etsy for, like, what homemade bags are going for. And there's a pretty decent variation. And then, like, what embroidered bags are going for. And I'm like, honey, you are underselling yourself for that. Um, and, oh, wow, I'm saying I'm a lot. And then she was asking me about my oversized scrunchies. And so I pulled them all out to show her what I had, which was actually great because like I have all my holders for my scrunchies here. So many scrunchies. If you want scrunchies, let me know. I, I can hook you up with a good deal. <laughs> and there's more there. Um, but I had some of them in this bin, like the three last patterns I did. Cause I was like, I don't have room to have them anywhere else. I don't have room in the bins, but by pulling them down to show her what I had, I actually found space to put those. So that's great. Cause I was like, she's interested in the seagull one by the way for sure <laughs> um but anyways this is such a long-winded way of saying she was looking for my bags on my etsy store but i'm not posting on my etsy store because i'm going to blind channel soon and then she was asking me about it and saying like how magical it looks and i was like oh yeah i was there over new year's and i was like oh let me show you this vlog from when it was really stormy and so i had to find that oh my god this story <laughs> And then I was like, oh, I should watch this because I remember it was really stormy. And then now I'm just down a rabbit hole of, oh my God, Blind Channel and puppies and strudel and storm and and everything. So um, that's where my afternoon went. I look super bald right now, but honestly, don't even care. It's 27 degrees in here. <laughs> it feels cool, which is the saddest thing. Anyways, I think I'm gonna just finish watching this last video that I'm watching. It's really inspiring me to finally maybe edit these videos that I have not been touching. Mm -hmm. And um, yeah, I will see you in the next vlog. <laughs> Good night.